Good evening. It is 10.30 p.m. <laughs> yes, on Tuesday the 20th of August and it's time for Today in My Bujo. So how are you? Right, first and foremost, before we get going, I did transfer the Primas over and I even had a little bit of room that I was able to transfer a couple of my more favourite um, Eclectic Scribbles paints. So I now have a jam full palette. <laughs> Get that. Now this is the palette that's supposed to only hold 36 and there are individual wells for 36 but then I squished in these. Now they pop a little bit but when it's closed it's fine. So yeah. There you go. I just added in. Those are my um, Eclectic Scribbles ones there. Uh, all the ones on the outside are Jane Davenport's and the ones in the middle are the Prima ones that I have and that was it they all fit in there perfectly well once it's shut it stops the paints trying to escape and by pop I mean they're I wonder if I can show you you see how they're sort of sticking out that it's slightly slightly too narrow but once you've got the lid shut it's fine so that's in there that's in there Bob Schrenker full brilliant really pleased with that I got posted today I got some owl buttons which are absolutely adorable <sighs> you guys these are so sweet that you the green ones and pink ones yellow ones and blue ones and I'm dropping them <laughs> but they are so cute the design all seems to be the same on them but I thought they were adorable and I just know I will use those I know. because who doesn't love owls right These are some little travel stickers. Now I've got a funny feeling I've actually ordered two lots of these because I think I ordered these from the same seller as the owl buttons and then I think I ordered a set from a different seller without realising what I'd ordered. But that's cool because there are some on here I would definitely use oh, cameras. Definitely use more of. I am buying a camera this week guys. I'll be very excited about that, so there's gonna be Photos that are not mere iPhone or cameras, mere iPhone pictures. Wow, there's like loads of cameras in here and some money. Oh, I like those. I like those a lot. So those are those are we and I'm gonna be incredibly hard to put back into the freaking box. There's Metro sign ones in there. So yeah. Yes, I'm gonna do that. I have a put my little postage stamps in this tin that um, Amanda sent me which is quite cool but I'm thinking for stuff like this really small die cuts I might put those in there as well because these are quite tidy and you know thinking I could maybe find a different storage solution for those and to put these in here They're not going to really fit in there either. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to find somebody that eats mussels. You're all going to be sitting there going, what the fuck is she talking about now? Stuart used to eat mussels and cockles and they come in these absolutely adorable little jars. I'm hoping this isn't going to spill. It's full of water. And the jars are embossed. Is that the word I'm looking for? But look how small it is. Perfect these would be perfect it's my water jar for painting would be perfect for you know little packets of ephemera like that but i don't know anybody that eats them <laughs> um because i've got them i've got my flowers i've got some little vellum stickers i've got these you now travel stickers so yeah and i got my first post crossings postcard from kershonbach i think i i think i pronounced that right Grüße aus Koschenbach. 
from, this is from somebody called Michael. Greetings from the south of Germany. How are you? Welcome to Post Crossing. I hope you'll enjoy it as I do. I am 49, married, two children, 14 and 12, and we live in this small village with about, with about 400 residents. Favourite brands, Queen, Jovi, Depeche Mode and White Snake. Best wishes, Michael. And the stamps are really cool because it's Snoopy stamp. And then a phlox. I don't have any phlox in my garden. That's something I might have to get. So that's going in the journal today. And then we're out for lunch. So I'm going to put that in there as well. So let's get on. I will put a thing up. I should have put a thing up, hopefully, at the beginning of the video going, yeah, skip to about 5.45 if you don't want to see my happy mail. Right. <laughs> Did I do the challenge? Yes, and I journaled. That was yesterday, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, so I did the challenge. I did have a drink yesterday. And I had more than one can. Did I have dinner? I didn't have chips yesterday. I didn't craft. I did the about today. Did the garden. Not do my weights again, but I did do my night care routine. But I'm digging up the garden, so I consider that a good uh, good workout. It's, I know it's not; it's not doing what a weights workout would do. But quite frankly, I'm too freaking tired. I'm gonna upload this, and then I'm going straight to bed again. I haven't pulled a card. Uh, I did my mood for yesterday. Right, let's do yesterday's steps. 12,000. Right, I'm going to change the pen. Weather today. I took a screenshot earlier. Okay, we've got a high of 20 and a low of 11 and um, sunrise was 05.59 and sunset was at 16 minutes past 8. So today we watched Iron Man 3 and Thor Dark World. I thoroughly enjoyed you watched Star Wars 3 yesterday. Right, so I did my day face cream. I will do the challenges in a sec. I've put my pen in I don't know how to do this. Um, I've not had booze. I've had slightly more than one can. I've had chips. Why did I colour all that in yesterday? I didn't craft. Day face cream, makeup, challenges, booze, one can or less, chips, I have not crafted. About today, I've done the garden. I'm fucked up there. Pain. I'll put it at a 6.23. didn't get a lot of sleep last night because I stayed up late getting that video uploaded and then I couldn't sleep so I'm really tired today I'd like to go to bed but I thought I'd better come and journal quick because I can't leave everybody hanging can I? Right. Um, Yesterday's stats were 12, 6, 7, 2. Um, that is 5.11 miles. Right, my word for today is. My mum has been under the renal clinic for the past year or so um, she was discovered to have extraordinarily high blood pressure 
and when they questioned her on it she said well I've always had high blood pressure nobody seems to know why and they were like yes but um Mrs Holland says you are was a, you know we were they were shocked she hadn't had a stroke so um she had two or three occasions where she had 24-hour blood pressure monitoring um she's had uh, regular blood pressure checks she's had regular blood tests regular urine checks she's had a, a full body ultrasound just to check that everything is working um but, and the medication that they've put her on can apparently fuck with your kidneys so they moved they put her under the renal department and she's had she had an ultrasound done and they discovered that one of her kidneys has necrotized a little bit and they reckoned that it the blood flow to it was interrupted possibly during one of her cesareans and you're going back you know, i'm 44 and i'm her youngest child okay so you're going back a long time here and the other one is larger as a result to compensate for it and it's never caused her any trouble she didn't even know until now um there is also a small spot on the ultrasound they, they don't know what it is they don't know that it's a little stone or a lesion on the kidney or what they're not worried they don't they just sort of went oh yeah it's there you know and shrugged it off um but they've kept an eye on her up until now and they've said basically she doesn't really need to be under the renal department anymore she's got to have six monthly blood tests and check in with the gp and if the gp is worried she'll get referred back and she'll go through as a priority patient so yeah she was signed off today which was awesome fucking news so today we did the loo because i did the loo before i took mum to the hospital this morning i also checked for laundry and the dishwasher has been on twice <laughs> Oh dear, right, we've checked the cupboards, we checked the fridge. Uh, I've got to put bins out there, I'll do that in a minute. And I swept the floor. The worktops I haven't wiped down simply because basically I haven't used the kitchen. You know? <laughs> I must come across like a right fucking slob. I'm not, I'm usually quite tidy. So today we went to the renal clinic and that's that done. Um, yeah. I haven't done any, I've still got to do the register for milk. I got a copy down Alex's work rota because he showed me earlier and he wasn't, he was even like one day last week. He said to them specifically, don't put me in for Saturday because Saturday he was helping take down the ring and move it over to strings for the big wrestling thing. And that was, the, that and Sunday were the end days he put, they put him in. And then he hasn't worked at all this week yet. Um, but he's basically in Thursday until, uh, for over a week apart from one day I think he's not in one maybe two days so that was yesterday I'm putting my wee photos and a little bit of journaling so now I am going to do the stencil could you put the bin out or do you want me to do it I don't mind okay thank you it's recycling Let's draw in because we are on the 20th. So, how much longer do we think my pen is going to last? This one that I'm using. The one with no nib because I've worn it away. It is really hard to draw on a bulging page. Ah, oh, don't move, don't move, don't move. Yes, if you <laughs> if you're not a regular to my channel, I'll show you what I mean. Hang on, that is the nib to my pen. There is nothing there. Oh, I've lost the focus of it. Look at it. There is nothing on it. <clears throat> it's really hard to do this without moving it. Can you see that? <laughs> And every day, oh, excuse the state of my nails, every day I think, oh, it's going to die, it's going to die. You know, I'll, I'll run out of nib, but I don't, I, it keeps going. Yeah, my nails, oh, I've been gardening, so my nails are filthy, even though I've been in the bath and scrubbed them. They're still filthy. So. My nail taker's going to so shout at me, because this is a brand new set. 
and soil is one of the worst things for nails because it dries your nails out but then I shall say to it well you can't shout at me because you don't answer your fucking messages when I break one so you know I'm gonna buy a new camera this week I've been chatting with Amber because she knows a wee bit about cameras and another friend of a friend of mine here on the island who I went to school with bless her heart and um, she actually works at the dog parlour where Isis goes to have her monthly spoilings and she's a keen photographer she's she shoots amazing pictures of the local red squirrels and that she's really really good and um, I basically asked for advice on which camera I should get because I, I want to take stills but I also want to do video and um, the video that I want to shoot is basically when Alex starts wrestling and I'm hoping eventually to sort of be a dedicated cameraman camera woman for the the wrestling brand which would be you know freaking awesome so I need a camera that can handle all of that in trouble is my friend Zoe recommends one camera and Amber and I and Amber's dad who apparently used to run or own a camera store or something Think we should get the other one which is only 30 quid more but has a better pixel resolution <laughs> so i'm like uh shit, what do i do <laughs> so i'll tell you what it's so great having a pouch that i can just tuck all this all my pens into there's not pens all over the side it's great it's great guys it's great okay so today's word is confidence that's not gonna fit us there I think this pen might be dying though. Seems to be lacking in some of the black. Confidence, lovely. That did fit. <laughs> I don't have any photos from today, literally. I have not done much. I drove mum in. Um, we grabbed some lunch. I came back, we dug the garden and I've been sat watching Marvel all evening. So that is what I'm going to write. And then I can put that in there, look. I think I might put it that way because if I put it that way, when I flip it, the writing's upside down because he sort of wrote on it that way. Whereas if I put it that way, yeah. And I found some of my um, postmarked I've actually got three postal style washies just to annoy um, Amber. <laughs> I've got the one that she went, oh, why don't you tell me you had that? Which is awesome. And then I got these. Now these are, so I've got that one, which looks like little itty bitty postcards, which is cool. This one I've had forever and it says air mail and it's got post stamps on it. and. All that lot and then this one is like a wee world map it's also upside down with the odd like little post stamp on it which i thought was quite cool so yeah i'll probably save the air my one for the us stamps and use these for other countries just you know so i think i'm going to use my little world map one and i can use it on this side and actually I could possibly use it on that side as well. Yeah. Because although he's come all the way across here, he hasn't there. So I could stick that down like that. And thankfully you can read through washi because it's transparent or parent as I heard somebody say the other day, transparent. It's like what the fuck language is that? Now I find if you fold washi, right, you fold it back on itself, you can use your nails or a bone folder. If you fold it back on itself, it makes it easier for installation into said journal, like 
like so. And you can get it right in the crease before using your finger to flatten it. Okay? And then I'm trying to be scrappy here by not using plain fucking tape and and by tearing it instead of cutting it and all that. <laughs> this is so hard. It's going in here fucking straight though. I'm putting monkey shit in here. Mike. So, and there you go. Oh, I was not amused. I got a message today. One of my postcards got received from somebody in Germany, funny enough. And he said, Dear Sam, thank you so much for your funny and um, was it your, your pretty and funny postcard from the Isle of Man? I, what I sent him was the one that I'd sent out to a load of people. A couple of you guys are going to get it. It's that one. It plainly says Isle of Wight. That doesn't look anything like the Isle of Man. I was like, you're a dick. So there you go. The look. I used to write. Wendy's going to be so proud of me when she finally gets on to watch my video. She's on holiday. New bag. How dare she go on holiday? But yeah, look, Wendy. I used washi tape. Aren't you proud? So yeah, my first watch, my first postcard arrived. So I'm going to do a little bit of journaling and I'm going to upload it. So uh, yeah, turn that that way so I can journal without falling off the edge of the thing. Um, that's it, pretty much. <laughs> Short and sweet. There you go. Thirty-six minutes, and. Um, I will blitz through stuff like me colouring well, I'm not talking, so do you guys want to see unedited today in my video? Where I don't cut out or I don't high plaps when I'm going fast and I, do you know what I mean? Or do you prefer it with the high plaps bits where I'm not talking? Cause I know for example, I know April doesn't doesn't edit, she just sticks it up as is. Um I high plaps through the bits that I think are a bit boring or I'm muttering to myself and stuff like that. So let me know whether you prefer that or whether you would prefer um, an unedited version. I can do an unedited an unedited version as a tester if you like. <laughs> we, we can do it that way. So yeah, let me know um, in the comments down below. But in the meantime, as well as comments, don't forget kisses because, you know, Daryl likes his kisses and so, so do I. I like kisses as long as you don't have cooties yeah thumbs up we like thumbs up give me a thumbs up uh i'd really love it if you know if you're not already subscribed if you're new to my channel please consider clicking the book down in the right hand corner and then clicking the bell and if you do all that you'll be subscribed and notified when youtube's behaving itself you you might actually get notified when i upload new content Take it easy, guys. I've really enjoyed you joining me today, and I will see you in Wednesday's edition of Today in My Bujo. Have a good day. <laughs>